a really cold cruise this morning but look at the signs of spring this the bank here is covered with snowdrops some of our favorite plants but uh it's the first time we've cruised in the ice it's not thick so it's not a problem i don't think for the boat but uh yeah quite enjoying it got lots of layers on got the tights underneath the trousers um woolly scarves woolly gloves thermal jumpers underneath <laughs> um and the hand warmers are on the boat all ready to click and heat up for us i think we've got about four miles and seven locks to do today if we go the whole way but it's really really lovely such a beautiful day looking out for the signs of spring somebody's got a frozen socks on the line I don't know if they're there for the birds or if that's washing we've uh, started putting a few bits and pieces in the hedgerows when we stop now to try and give the birds a little bit of something to eat but we're really enjoying it I guess we'll be ready to snuggle up by the fire when we eventually stop this afternoon but uh, really nice really nice Rich has been breaking the ice with the boat and uh, it's quite a pretty place here. We seem to sometimes think that we're always uh, looking forward. And as much as I'm enjoying this, we are beginning to feel now that we're looking forward to spring. Seems like we've been wearing winter clothes for about four months. And it'll be nice to be able to uh, take the dogs off in the morning without spending 20 minutes getting dressed first. But on a day like this, you're going to love it. or so and it's uh, well, it about five millimeters thick in places I think so I'm not sure whether to proceed or not moved a couple of miles uh, but the ice now is getting too thick here I think we're gonna have to pull in and just uh, give it up for the day it's, uh, it's difficult negotiating the boat when it's so thick uh, so I don't want to be doing any lasting damage to the boat either I'm not sure if it will or not but that is just quite thick that ice now Well, we've been fortunate enough to be able to come up this flight with another boat, narrowboat Ra and uh, just got another two locks to do and then we're at Norton Junction so we're going to stay there for a couple of days so that's the seven locks we've done today at the Buckby flight and uh, we're now moored up it's a beautiful evening beautiful light and this is the view we've got for the day well for the next few days so stunning I'm just going to do a little quick laundry update because a couple of people have asked what it's like doing the laundry on the boat especially during the winter 
we're still really pleased with Edna and if you want to know why it's called an Edna there'll be a link somewhere to the episode where we talked about the machine. Um, soap nuts are still really really great we're using well this the bag is still right three quarters full from when we began so we have three or four of these in a little bag in the washing machine we found that it's better to put those with some really hot water before you put the washing in um, obviously during the winter we're having to be a little bit careful when we've got hot water and when we're using the machine so I tend to wash when we've just been going cruising or we've been cruising for about an hour or on the odd occasion when we've been stationary a few days and we've got to run the engine that's the best time to use the washing machine personally I found that this size washing machine is brilliant because it does just, we put it on two or three times a week I guess, but we get just enough washing done that we can dry it easily on the boat. It's coped with towels, jeans, the only thing is the bed linen sheets can go in there, but um, duvet covers, we either have to wait till we're going back to the house or go to a laundrette, but that's not really a big problem. It's all our clothes are being cleaned really, really well. So still a big thumbs up for our little washing machine. Um, and we'll talk about the drying. So we'll just talk a little bit about drying the washing. Um, Gus, also known as Scott Copters, has sent a message asking us how we cope drying our laundry on the boat. And in fact, it's easier than it was on land. I've never had a tumble dryer in my life, so maybe it's easier for me, I've not been spoiled. But we found this fantastic little error, which collapses down. These arms are adjustable in and out. So in the winter, we just hook it over that rail. At night, fairly near the fire, about four feet from the fire. And we find that this dries within a few hours when the fire's been on. In the summer, we can hang this on the side of the boat. These arms extend outwards and it just hooks over the grab rail at the top of the boat. And it's fantastic. So on dry weather, it goes out at day, just comes in here during the night. We're also fortunate in a way that we've got the hot water pipes coming from the fire. So Richie's sexy pajamas are here, hey. there for you ladies. But um, we also wash, <laughs> hang washing on there. It dries so quickly. And on the odd occasion that I do do bed linen, that's interesting because I hang a string. <laughs> from one end of the bedroom to the other and hang the sheet over it and it will still dry right pretty easily but you have to just dive in and out underneath it but it's been absolutely no problem the, the laundry is just drying overnight we've got no condensation problems just a um, little bit on the windows that's what you get when people and animals live on we board. just wipe that off but with a cloth every morning and it's absolutely fun because we've got the heat the, the heating the the Wood, wood burner, burner going it dries really quickly doesn't it yeah that is, you know that was put up yesterday yeah. late afternoon within a couple of hours it was more or less dry wasn't it yes yes and the only other last thing that i was going to say is to keep the laundry down things like tea towels and um face cloths and stuff little bits i actually <laughs> i've gone back to my nan's way of doing it and i've got a big old pan that goes on the cooker and i bring them up to boiling and just hand wash but the spinner on those little machines is fantastic so even if you hand wash a few bits and spin it it just comes out almost dry so yeah i've got no no hesitation in recommending the little twin tubs um use so little water so little power and one wash we can dry it on there dead easy We managed to keep the fire going overnight. Just a few more coals added before we went to bed and then just close it down a little. And it's kept glowing for the last six, seven hours. And um, it's just as well. Because look, we've woken to a real heavy frost, icy morning and the canal is completely frozen over thick with ice and the view looks so different than it did yesterday
You can almost go ice skating. Go on then. <laughs> No, I think that's cold. Well, this is where it all started for us a year ago. We came here looking for boats didn't we we visited here twice didn't we to look at boats and uh, didn't find one we liked here with the price range that we had but uh wouldn't mind going and have another look <laughs> but anyway we're not here to look at boats we're here to go to the uh, chandlery uh look at light bulbs etc What you doing Rich? Replacing these awful white lights. They are, they're just, as you once said, they make a room darker when you switch them on. They just suck all atmosphere out. And, Horrible uh, things aren't they? We've suffered it, them yeah. for about a year. Horrible. Been talking about replacing them. So we have bought these, which is a warm white light and it's 2.8 watts, 10 to 30 volts. Trouble is, it comes in this single-use plastic. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, but we, have to, we can't just do everything, can we? We are failing miserably <sighs> in our attempts to not use single-use plastic. So these were not cheap though, were they, these lights? No, apparently they were they're about 10 quid. But uh, apparently you get 50,000 hours of illumination. How long have we got left to live? Well, what is 50,000 hours in years? I'm not years? working it out. I'm just like, yeah, but they won't be on all the time. So that'll be okay. I think I'll outlive them. <laughs> <laughs> so we got these from uh, Bedazzled. Yeah. Through, um, well, from um, Wilt Marina, actually, because we happened to be there yesterday. I had a walk. But the, they are sourced from Bedazzled, which we've heard lots about. We weren't going to replace all of our lights, but they didn't realise they were £10 each, so we've bought a couple just to try them. And, and also we've put the one up in the kitchen, and it, it, it's just so different, the light, and it spills everywhere, doesn't it? It goes much further, and uh, it's a much warmer colour. What are you lost now? My screws. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it is. I don't think, and they're so bright, I don't think we've, we, I think we've got about seven lights in this saloon. And I think two of these ceiling ones are going to be enough to brighten the whole thing up. Yeah, if I can get it in properly. Go on then, on and off. <laughs> Look at that. That is so much nicer. It was a really blue, white, dark, black light before. It was <laughs> black! <laughs> so it's nice and warm now. That's nice, so isn't it? You might be able to see us when we're, when we're recording now. You'll see all the wrinkles on the videos now. <laughs> 